Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change materials when the when the mesh has two different materials. So for example, this one has two different materials. I did show you guys how to change materials in a previous video. And I did mention that you could use materials instead of material. And there was a comment in that video saying that materials did not work. And in that video, I did not really explain how to do it using materials. So I'm going to explain it in this video. The way you would be able to do it is we'll first create a script, go to C sharp script, and we'll put change materials. So this way you would be able to change even if it has three materials, four materials, whatever on that single mesh. So as you can see, this is a skin mesh renderer. And if let's say we had four or five materials, we would be able to do it. We would be able to change this all in one shot. So the way we would be able to do this is first, let's bring this into this pre sample mail. Actually, we'll make it a little easier. We'll bring it into the where the actual materials are at. So right here, and we're going to edit this script real quick. So what we would first have to do is get the mesh renderer, the skin mesh renderer, and it is on that game object, but we're just going to make it public instead of getting the component and setting this to private. So we're just going to put public skin mesh renderer. That way it would be easier for everybody to understand. And no matter where you put it, you would be able to drag and drop your skin mesh renderer and have no problem. So we're going to put skinned mesh. Then we're going to make a public material. This is going to be called material to use. And this is going to be called second material to use. So since we are going to change two materials to two different materials, so we're going to change both of them. These are the materials we are going to change it to. After that, we will just use the update function. And just to make this a little easy for me, we're just going to put if input dot key get key down and then put key code dot space. When I hit that space bar, this function is gonna work or this line of code will work. So we're gonna put skin, actually we're gonna put material. So we're gonna have to create a material and it's gonna be an array cause it's gonna have multiple materials. It's not just gonna be one and this is gonna be called materials. Then we're gonna make it equal to new material. And this new material is gonna, we're gonna have a square bracket and it's gonna be equal to skin mesh dot shared materials dot length. So we're going to get the length of, of the materials that we have. So if we had four or five different materials on this skin mesh, we're going to get that. After that, we're going to put materials zero. So this is going to be the first material on that skin mesh. And we're going to put equals material to use. Same thing for materials one, the materials, and then one. It's going to be equal to the second material to use. After that, we're going to do skin mesh dot shared materials. It's going to equal materials. So it's going to equal the shared materials is going to equal this list of new materials that we created right here. So now if I go back and if I go to the different bodies right here, we're going to add, let's say this one right here to the material to use the skin mesh renderer we're using is this exact one right here. And the second material we're going to use is this one. So let's see where this one's located at. Let me change it real quick. See where it's located. It's right here. And then we'll just move this one back to its normal material. We're going to save it and hit play. Now when I hit the space bar, both his shirt, his pants, all that should change, but as well as the material on his face. So I'm going to hit space. As you can see, it changed. The face is kind of hard to tell because it was just like a regular face. I didn't remove this one right here. So let me remove this. That's why I was getting that error. But if you see, it has a shadow on his face. So now when I hit space, don't have that shadow. It's a different face and it has the different clothes. And these warnings are something else. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it doesn't hurt the game or anything like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully that was helpful to the comment that was left on my video. I'm sorry I didn't explain it on the first video. I shouldn't really have mentioned it unless I was going to go into more detail with it. That way there wasn't really any questions about it. But hopefully this video will answer anybody else's questions. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys learned something new, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. Help me keep motivated. Help this channel grow. Help people find this video and learn something as well. Also hit that subscribe button if you want to continue to see more videos like this. Hit that bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as I post a video. And once again, thank you guys.